Ah, yes. Yeah, so I seriously feel like I cannot get my shit together when it comes to my planner. I think I'm going to call this the January flip, which I've kind of already done a billion times, but there are some things I want to talk about as I do this. I also looked at some artist loft dot pens from Michaels. They all seem to be what they represent, except sadly for the purple color that would be my favorite color out of this. The dot part is something happened in the line had blue ink as opposed to the purple ink that was on the pen end. Everything else is okay. It's great. The brown I like because it's a cooler brown, whereas the zig dot is a warmer brown. So just some, some fun facts. I was playing with those filming something earlier. I am using my Vanderspec Bianco. I absolutely love the snap of leather. It is beautiful. It feels be beautiful. I love it. It matches everything. My pen is from Angel Shop. I don't believe you can get it anymore. It was a collaboration with Shine Sticker Studio. This is also from Angel Shop that you are seeing. I ordered some gel refills for it so that I can use it. I don't like rollerball ink anymore. And I'm really beginning to love gel. So I wanted the gel and I have the gel and now I have it in here. It fits in the pen loop, which is awesome. Kind of a comparison. So my favorite purple is this Maru Orchid. You can get these a bunch of different places, but. Oh man. So I'm gonna try to get it next to, so that that artist's loft is more pink. I'm actually kind of glad it didn't work because the zig dot that I have and this guy are closer to each other and closer to what I like. So, okay, so that's all right. But I did wanna try the artist's loft in my, so the zig gets stuck. So I wanted to see if I put like the artist loft in there, would it get stuck? No, it does not get stuck. So that also has, opposed to the zig that the barrel is bigger. Yeah, it's, I'm not gonna force it. This gets stuck and comes off. I don't want it all for my planner. So I keep that in my pen case as opposed to actually putting it in here. These dotters also double as highlighters. So that works great. So the 2023 that you guys have seen thus far, right? We've got, what are we, what am I working on this year? What are the stuff I, what, what are the things, the stuffs I'm looking at? I do have some aspirations thrown in here. And then I'm gonna start filling this in once I start editing some videos. I'm a little bit behind this week because I'm getting hours of PTO as opposed to the four days I was going to have for reasons. So needs and wants, some very serious needs. I'm working on my daughter's kindergarten. So where we live, we don't, like the school system she would start out in for kindergarten and elementary school is fine and it's close to our house. Unfortunately, the school system as you get to middle school and high school is a failing school system that we've just, we've known people whose kids have gone through and heard horror stories. So we're trying to get her into a kindergarten near where she currently goes to her pre-K stuff, which means we have to be able to do school choice, but it looked like everything for kindergarten, like for non-high school, was just open enrollment. I'm having a really hard time in the state I live in getting consistent information on open enrollment. It looked like, it now looks like we have to put in for school choice, be approved for school choice in order to be able to do open enrollment. We're not looking for busing. We're not looking for, we don't need any discounts. We don't need any financial aid help. We literally just want our daughter to go to a school of our choice. We will take care of her getting there. Her, where she currently goes to daycare and pre-K, if she gets into the school system we want her to be in, that's in that school system and they will bus her. She can do the before and after school program. She can maintain the same schedule we currently have, but we're not sure we're gonna be able to get her into one of those schools. It's super, it's super frustrating. It's super duper frustrating. I'm, I'm glad we, we live in a state that has school choice and has expanded school choice so that if you, know, if you can get your kids to where you want them to go, it's an option. What frustrates me is I have a feeling it's a lottery program, which 
I get they don't want to rush on the nearest school districts outside of ours where everybody wants their kids to go there. At the same time, if they've got room, what my, what, where I live needs is we need our own school district that separates from the school district that we're in. And that's what a lot of parents want. And our taxes keep going up. Why not, why not just do it? Why not just get our own school system, build our own middle school, build our own high school. There are more than enough students for it and get our kids out of a failing school district. I really don't want to send my kid, my kid to a failing school district. I don't. I don't want anybody's kid to be sent to a failing school district. I think it really, really sucks for people who like, that's the choice they're stuck with. I, I just, I, ha I have thoughts about it. It really bothers me because it, it does kids a huge disservice to not adequately be able to support their needs. You know, reading, writing, arithmetic, all that stuff. I. How about I digress? I also need new tires. Um, four new tires range anywhere from about $500 to $1,000 and my brakes are gonna need to be done. I'm hoping that we, we, we have what's called tires plus in our area. I'm hoping that they can do all of that for me. And maybe see if I can get some discounts and hopefully they're cheaper than a dealership because I don't wanna pay dealership prices. And then yeah, it's all stuff I'm waiting for. So I've, I've done. I've done Michael's, I've hit up Target. I have to get Kohl's, get to Kohl's. I'm just, I'm picking, they have, bleh, because I can't talk. My Kohl's has a Sephora and I'm getting my mascara for the year. I, my no buy doesn't include having to, you know, repurchase something that I use and run out of, but I just want to have it ahead of time so I don't have to worry about it. My order from Jet Pens. The reason I write Jet Pens down is because Jet Pens doesn't track the same way that other things track in my shop app until it ships. So that just helps me. That is things I'm working on. Things I'm working on. Things I'm working on. So what we're gonna talk about today is actually later on in here. Now, I did, I do have my great reset and all of my notes and all that stuff. I have to go through and do my billing stuff. Something that I have done today because I had a little bit more going on is I actually started filling this guy in. So I did Target. Uh, what time is it? It's 11.29. Michael's. Car wash. There was, you know, obviously driving in there so I got home a little bit before 11 so I am filming I have to edit and upload still but you know just trying to fill some stuff in for what I'm getting done today I am also working on just quit doing that for right now I am also working on unsubscribing to pretty much everything and the reason I'm working on unsubscribing to pretty much everything is because I don't want to be bombarded with sales stuff and stuff that I know I'm going to want and be tempted to buy. So if I unsubscribe, then I won't get that. And then I've got my February through March in here. So I've started filling in the things that I know that are going on so I can work out, you know, time off, all that other good stuff. My notes section, I did move to behind my, my actual like calendar setup before I get to my guy here, which is my financial section. So no buy 2023. We've talked about all of this before. I'm trying not to buy punter stuff. I'm trying not to buy makeup. I'm trying to use what I have so I can shrink debt and add the savings. Basically, I just want to realign my relationship with money. So weekly reviews, listing things to buy and consolidating. So I'm not just constantly going to the store, which adds in the potential for purchasing things I don't need. Wow, that guy came up there, high distraction. You know, and just really trying to get the impulse control down. But then I was thinking about this earlier today, you know, a no buy prep, kind of like stocking up on no needs, so like mascara. I know I'm gonna need two mascaras. They do last me about six months. You should be changing them out anywhere between three and six months, you know, for eye safety. So I know two is about what I need. And I also did pick up the Too Faced eye primer that I use. They changed the packaging and put it with a wand. 
So I suspect I'll probably need two of those because the product's going to dry itself out. Thank you, Too Faced. Your packaging wasn't broken. You didn't need to fix the squeezy tube. Bring back the squeezy tube. You know, markdown and price needs. So in other words, making sure like I need brakes and tires, making sure that I'm getting price quotes, that I know what it's gonna cost me instead of just being like, oh, well, it's gonna cost me whatever it's gonna cost. No, let's know what it's gonna cost us before we go in. Unsubscribing. I need to be careful with social media and pull back from social media because what's happening is the algorithms are trying to sell me things. Now, usually I can ignore them, but every now and then there's something that I can't ignore. And the urge to shop, if I've got the urge to shop, writing out feelings. For instance, this morning, I had tremendous urge to shop. I also felt a lot of pressure when I realized that this was really going to be the only day I was going to get out of the entire week where I was going to be able to get things done that I am heading back to work after the new year, more burnt out than when I left because the time off I was supposed to get, I'm just not getting, right? And when I say that, my daughter, I love her, I love her, I love her, I love her, but I also work full time. I work, I know we think we think of full time as 40 hours, but I, I, I work more than that. And I mom and I have all this stuff that I need to make sure gets done and accounted for. And my brain is constantly going, 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 and I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted from all of it. And I'm not functioning well at any of it at this point. And I'm finding that, you know, I, I'm gonna have the next three days, which are going to be overstimulating and overwhelming for her and fun. And that's great and experiences and all that other good stuff, but they're also going to be overstimulating for mommy and overwhelming for mommy. And mommy's gonna have to control all of her emotions and control all of her reactions and not get any downtime to process those emotions or reactions while trying to help my daughter learn to regulate her emotions. And I'm exhausted thinking about it and I'm gonna be so tired. So there's gonna be a refocus too on self-care in 2023. And I think that includes having some very real discussions with my husband about if you're gonna get downtime and you're gonna get time where you get to go out and have fun with the boys, well, I'm gonna get this, the equivalent amount of that time because we can't have this expectation that mom is going to do it all because mom can't. I, I, it, it's impossible, it's just not gonna work. So that is a dis discussions must be had there. So I'm gonna put my pen back in this because we're gonna talk about something else. And yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of long form content. So this is my everyday carry. I just put it, I went to Panera and whenever I'm going to be out, I just, I don't want this like laying on a table and picking any, anything up. So I just shoved it in my bag. I did, I did, I did prep my personal. Let me put these guys away. I did prep my personal and I don't know why I have an unrealistic attachment to this thing, but I do have an unrealistic attachment to it. And as much as I do love it, this is gonna get sold. This stuff is gonna get rehomed. I don't know if I'm going to use personal size at all. I can't keep this. As much as I love it and I wanna be in it, it's my A6. It is, it is literally my A6 that has my heart and it is my A6 that's going to continue to have my heart. And if it's not the A6, it's gonna be the pocket. So, <laughs> Just hanging on to that just feels silly and I'm gonna give you a little bit of, and everybody, everybody loves seeing this. So my whole year is in here. This is my half letter. My whole year as of right now is in this planner. I am playing with the idea of using this guy as my desk planner. You know, she's super nice, she's super sized. I love her, she's chunky. Look at her, look at her. I did throw in the cloth and paper because I thought maybe what I would do would be to like color this in kind of. But 
Oh, ew, do you see that? Okay, I won't be coloring it in because apparently it picks up. That's, that's just, that's just delightful. All right, so I've got the great reset. I have not completely filled this in. I haven't completely decoded it either. I was playing with some of these cloth and paper highlighters that don't really work with anything that I use in my A6. Just to see, I do like this. The problem is this is not something that I'm gonna carry with me per se everywhere. At the same time, I like the idea of being able to plan things out. If it's a desk planner, maybe when I say plan things out and all of these just look the same, except for the cover art. What I think I mean is maybe I'm gonna use it for more like my, oh, maybe more of my, sorry for my list, my purchase tracker, but maybe more of a, uh, like content stuff, I don't know, I don't know. We we will see, I just, I wanted to set it up. I had everything. I love the inch and a half discs and that I am able to get everything in here. And she is so big, she's so big. <laughs> that is what she looks like. I love, I love how the Ikea drawers get stuck and I have to pull them out. And I do have my, my, fan, my little friendly guy, my little pocket here. I always feel bad because I feel so heartbroken when I look at her. She does work too, I think. I don't know. You know, like I can have so many of the similar things in here that I would have irregardless. So December is over, so I can pull this guy out for storage. It's, it feels so wild to pull stuff out. I threw these away because I didn't use them, but I dated them, so that's kind of kind of a pointless stretch. And I do have my January. I don't have monthly tabs, but I mean, even if I did this, I could fit more in here than, but I don't know. I would really wouldn't be able to use the monthly the same way that I would use it in my A6 or in my half letter, right? Like it's small. This I still feel torn on just because it could be usable. It could be usable. I think, I think I might be coming up on a death knell of wanting pocket. Every time I see people using pocket, I love pocket, but I just, I can't get around. Like there's, there's the wish list. I don't really have anything in here for financial stuff. And then like I've got my notes section. I just, I think that's, it's 25 millimeters by the way, and it's, it's Vander spec. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And every time again, I feel like I want to be in here. I just end up not being in here. I end up immediately gravitating right back to what must be my comfort size of of the of the A6. So that is that is where I'm at on that. I'll just show you these cute little guys here for one last moment. But I, I just I think I just need to stop and realize that A6 is my sweet spot. It has been my sweet spot for so long that it's going to remain my sweet spot and it's not gonna change by me forcing it. I have to let my personal let, personal size go and I just, I need to, 
in all likelihood, completely let go of of pocket that's probably never going to work for me. I don't know, you're, you're listening to my brain freeze because I'm just starting to like question everything is what it is and why and how I got here. Like I don't, I don't understand the psychology or the psychosis <laughs> of how I got here. Like how, how did I decide it was a good idea or that I needed all of these things in all of these different sizes and why can't I just settle? And I think the reason I can't settle is because I keep giving my permission to try. I keep giving myself permission to try new things. So I'm just, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go with grace. And I think I am going to get off of here and take some more pictures of things and call it a day. I'm slowly going to be putting stuff on my Poshmark and it, it is what it is. As always, it's an adventure, it's an experiment. I don't know where it's going to end. Much love to you and yours and I will catch you in the next one.